Burley So. Hello everybody and welcome back to Burley So. I'm your host Purified and today I'm going to show you how to use character patterns to spell out words when you're embroidering using the Brother SE400. So once you have your material hooped and you have the embroidery unit on and you can see how to do that in some of my other videos you'll have the options to select the character pattern and then you're gonna to wanna to select your font. There's five fonts to choose from. I'm gonna choose that one and now you can see A through N are laid out in front of you in capital and that's capital. You can see small and then there's the size of the font, large, medium, and small. I'm gonna start for, with medium because this is just a test run and type in my name and then you have to use the arrows here on the right to move between A through N and O through Z and then you also have to select lowercase to change the case of the letter you can see my name's typed in the machine now so the next part I want to show you is how to adjust the position of the carriage and you can see I hit adjust and that brings up the, these four uh, layouts the one you're going to use and now you can see the arrows are available for me to move the carriage around if you look there you can see me pushing the down button and the up button and that moves the carriage up down left right the longer you hold down the button it'll skip in larger increments if you just tap the button it'll just move in smaller increments and you can see it moving on the LED screen as well. Next, you're gonna hit the size layout button up top here, and that brings different options available. Um, that's it. There's a lot to go into with density and whatnot. I'll do that in another video. But for right now, we just wanna bring up so that we can access the trial key. And once you hit that, you can see that the carriage moves and it draws out the space that will be taken up by your embroidery pattern. And once you're happy with that, then you're ready to start your pattern. You just drop the presser foot. You can see it turns green right here. And start it off. So shortly after I get going, I usually stop it once it moves away from the start point. And I like to get rid of the extra thread so that I don't sew over it and to do that I usually have a seam ripper handy and a very sharp good pair of scissors and that way I can get in there and trim down any extra threads and there's the scissors I really can't emphasize more that a good pair of scissors is really helpful but now that we've got that trimmed up, we can just drop the presser foot and it'll pick up right where it left off. Now, another thing that I like to do when we get to that point is between the letters, there's going to be a jump stitch as well. And you're going to, what I like to do is as I go, I trim it. It's just easier for me. Um, plus, I don't, I'm always afraid that it might stitch over part of it, then it'll be harder to get to. But depending upon your jump stitch and if you're, you know it's safely outside of your full embroidery, you can always remove the jump stitch afterwards. I'll do a, a little later, I'll be removing it afterwards as I go now. I'm going to keep it um, trimmed as I go. But for the rest of this stitch out, I'll go ahead and uh, fast forward for you so you don't have to sit through. Um, you just saw what normal speed is. And then after I trim this jump stitch, I'm going to go ahead and speed it up. Alright, so now we're done and the machine will let you know. And now we'll just take the presser foot and raise it and then take the hoop off the carriage. And you can see, there's my name, hi, I'm Tim. Now it turns out that those letters are too small for what I want. So I'm gonna go into the name that I typed in and I'm gonna switch it to large. So on the bottom here, I switched it to L for large. 
I went up and deleted my name and I'm going to retype it in in large. And now that I have the T capitalized, I'm going to go ahead and lowercase the rest of the letters. And now so I don't have to rehoop, I'm just going to move down. And with the controls I showed you earlier, I move down and I'm checking my space right now and it looks good. So now I'll lower the presser foot and hit start. And for the next part of the video, I'll just speed it up through the stitching and we'll see how it looks. Now that we've finished it up, this is what it looks like. And as I said earlier, I left the jump stitches. It's very hard to see. You can see that one pretty good, and that little one right there. And it's just as easy to cut them after the project. The only time that you, you really need to get rid of them is if you've got a pattern that you know is gonna sew over them. Now that that's complete, and I'm happy with that size. And you can see what it looks like right here. I'm going to put it on my shirt. And the shirt's a bowling shirt that I've got for a work function. And I won't be wearing it again until next year. But I thought it'd be cool to have my name on it. So I iron the shirt. And I'm going to use the pocket line here as the guide. And I'm going to want to make sure that my name is straight and even with that line. And or the right distance away from the top of the pocket. And the machine that I have, the hoop came with a guide that you can place in there to kind of help uh, line up your, your embroidery project. So I'm going to go ahead and hoop that. And I'm going to use a tearaway stabilizer on the back. And if you want to see more about hooping, uh, you can check out my other video. I've got a video that kind of goes into a little bit about stabilizer and hooping. But you want to get it tight, and you can see the stabilizer that's on the back. And it's nice and tight on the front. And now I'm going to just hook the hoop on to the carriage. And I'm going to want to make sure that the bulk of the material, because it's all to the right now, you're going to want to make sure that there's nothing underneath your hoop. So I'm gonna run everything through the throat here and what I'll do is I'll roll it up a little bit um, to keep it out of the way and then I can go ahead and start embroidering my design. So now that I've got everything all situated I've, you can see right here I've got the material in the throat nice and tidy. There's nothing underneath my hoop. I can go ahead and check where my layout is going to be. And that looks good to me. I think I'm going to just move it up a little bit, check it again. And as I said earlier, you can just tap the arrow and it'll just move it up a small increment. So I just nudge it up a little bit. And now we're ready to start embroidering. So drop the presser foot and go. So now I'll go ahead and speed up the video for you again. And we'll stitch it out. And then the last two things that I'll show you are removing the jump stitches and removing the tearaway stabilizer that's on the back. All right, now still kind of fast forwarding through. I'm going to go ahead and remove the jump stitches. And I'm going to slow it down and show you how to take off the stabilizer. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is I usually get rid of all these longer threads that are on here. And then if there's any jump stitches on the back, you can get rid of those too. Because it just stops the, the tearaway stabilizer from tearing off. And don't be afraid to pull it. Sometimes it feels like you might pull a stitch out or something, but it's not that bad. So I just go underneath here with my scissors or my seam ripper and simply just peel it off. 
And you can see here I'm getting rid of this jump stitch. It doesn't have to be perfect on the back. It's just that when you have a lot of jump stitches, the stabilizer has a tendency to not pull off in that area. So you can either do it before or after, whatever works best for you. But now we've got the stabilizer all trimmed off, we've got the extra threads off, and there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe. Comments below. I'm your host, Purified. And as you now know, Tim, thanks for watching Burley So.